When Love Fails the Test of Truth Ethan and I met at a friend's party eight years ago, and from the moment I saw him, I was smitten. He was everything I wanted in a partner, charming, ambitious, and attentive. Our relationship blossomed quickly, and within a year, we were married. Life felt like a fairy tale. But as the years passed, subtle changes crept into our marriage. Ethan was always busy with work, and while I understood his dedication, I started to feel like I was slipping down his list of priorities. The little things that made our relationship special, like movie nights or spontaneous dates, disappeared. At first, I blamed myself. Was I not enough for him anymore? I began to doubt our love, but I pushed those thoughts aside, convincing myself that I was overreacting. However, when he started coming home late, distracted and distant, my insecurities came roaring back. One evening, I confided in my best friend, Clara. She listened patiently as I poured out my worries. Emma, she said gently, you need to talk to him. Tell him how you feel. I can't, I admitted. What if he tells me something I don't want to hear? Clara sighed. Living in doubt isn't better. You have to find out the truth one way or another. The Drastic Decision Her words stayed with me, but instead of having an honest conversation with Ethan, I came up with a plan, one that would push our relationship to its limits. I decided to fake paralysis in both my legs. The idea was extreme, I knew that, but I felt trapped by my insecurities, desperate for clarity. If Ethan truly loved me, he would stay by my side and support me. If not, well, at least I would know where we stood. When I told Clara about my plan, she was horrified. Emma, this is madness, she said. What if it backfires? Then I'll know the truth, I replied firmly. Reluctantly, Clara agreed to help. Being a nurse, she provided me with convincing symptoms and explanations. I practiced my limp for days until I could pull it off seamlessly. Finally, one evening, I put the plan into action. The lie begins. I was in the kitchen when Ethan walked in, looking exhausted from work. As I turned to greet him, I stumbled dramatically, clutching the counter for support. Emma, he exclaimed, rushing to my side. I don't know what's wrong, I said, feigning panic. My legs. They feel numb. He helped me to the couch, his face pale with worry. We need to get you to the hospital, he said. No, I insisted. Let's wait. Maybe it's just temporary. After some hesitation, Ethan agreed. I called Clara, who arrived shortly after and played her role perfectly. She examined me and suggested that my symptoms might indicate a serious condition affecting my nerves. Ethan was devastated. What do we do? he asked, holding my hand tightly. We take it one day at a time, Clara replied. The Early Days of Devotion in the beginning, Ethan was incredible. He took time off work to care for me, cooking meals, helping me bathe, and even carrying me up the stairs. His tenderness brought tears to my eyes. I began to think that maybe I had been wrong to doubt him. But as weeks turned into months, his patience began to wear thin. The warmth in his eyes faded, replaced by exhaustion and frustration. The cracks begin to show. One night, Ethan came home later than usual. I was sitting in the living room waiting for him. How was your day? I asked, trying to sound cheerful. Long, he replied curtly, dropping his briefcase on the floor. He barely looked at me as he walked to the kitchen to grab a beer. I followed him, wheeling myself in the chair. I thought we could have dinner together, I suggested. I already ate, he said without meeting my gaze. The coldness in his voice stung, but I didn't press him. Instead, I returned to the living room, feeling lonelier than ever. The Turning Point Things worsened over the next few weeks. Ethan stopped helping me with basic tasks, often brushing off my requests with excuses about being too tired. The final blow came when I overheard him on the phone late one night. I don't know how much more of this I can take, he said, his voice filled with frustration. It's like she's a completely different person. 
I didn't sign up for this. Tears streamed down my face as I listened. His words confirmed my worst fears. Uncovering the Truth The next morning, Ethan left for work early, claiming he had a busy day ahead. My suspicion grew, and I decided to check his phone, a line I had never crossed before. What I found shattered me. There were messages between Ethan and a woman named Sabrina. Ethan, I can't stop thinking about you. Being with you makes me feel alive again. Sabrina, then leave her. You deserve to be happy. The betrayal cut deeper than I ever imagined. Ethan hadn't just failed my test. He had been unfaithful. The Confrontation That evening, I waited for Ethan to come home. When he walked through the door, I stood up from my wheelchair, glaring at him. His eyes widened in shock. Emma, what's going on? I can walk, I said coldly. I've been able to walk this whole time. What are you talking about? He stammered. I faked my paralysis to see if you truly loved me, I admitted. But it turns out, you've been lying too. Who is Sabrina? His face paled. You went through my phone? I had every right to, I snapped. You betrayed me, Ethan. You turned to someone else instead of being there for me. Instead of apologizing, he lashed out. You're the one who lied first. Do you have any idea how stressful this has been for me? Stressful for you? I shouted. I was testing your loyalty, and you failed. The End of Us The argument ended with Ethan storming out of the house. I filed for divorce the next day, and he didn't even try to fight it. Sabrina didn't stick around for long. Once Ethan lost his stability, both emotionally and financially, she disappeared. As for me, I learned a hard but valuable lesson. Love doesn't need tests. True love reveals itself in the way someone treats you every single day. Now, I'm focused on rebuilding my life, stronger and wiser than before. When Emma begins to suspect her husband Ethan's love is fading, her insecurities lead her to take a drastic step, faking paralysis to test his loyalty. At first, Ethan's devotion reassures her, but cracks soon begin to show. As weeks turn into months, his frustration grows, and Emma starts to question whether their love can withstand the strain. But when Emma uncovers a shocking betrayal, she realizes her test revealed far more than she ever anticipated. A story of love, lies, and the price of mistrust. A test of loyalty, the truth that broke us, explores the consequences of deception and the fragile nature of trust in a relationship.